I've said so many times, and maybe it's a bit of a hyperbole when I say I'm excited about specific guests, but today, mm, there's an exception to this rule, and the reason is, oh gosh, it's another YouTube content creator in the realm of self-publishing, and her expertise lies over into the children's books. She's going to talk about children's books, but those of you that are trying to click away and go, no, I, I don't do children's books, she's going to show you, whether you're nonfiction, fiction, or even no content book publishers, a feature that will send your eyebrows and blow you away. But before we do jump into that content, folks, I do want to let you know that today's broadcast is sponsored by the fine folks over at Author Brand Kits. My assistant threw together a little something for the self-publishing community, introducing Author Brand Kits, of course. Done for you author platforms. Get your website, social media, and email ready to promote your books. Visit dalelinks.com slash ABK for more details today. And speaking of author brands, today's guest is a bit of an author brand expert, especially in the child, children's book publishing realm. Her name is April Cox, and she's a best-selling and award-winning author. Her flagship program, Self-Publishing Made Simple, it's actually right here on YouTube, has helped hundreds of authors go from completed manuscript to self-published book in 12 weeks. You can often find April cuddled up with her grandkids and two labradoodles reading a children's book. So it is my absolute pleasure to welcome to the show, April Cox. How you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling awesome. This is so great to join you today. Now it's my turn to be in the hot seat. From last last time I had you, you and I were together. It was me interviewing you. Yeah, yeah, awesome. it was a little different. Thank now, you so much for having me. I think you're probably just used to seeing watching these guests being interviewed you got to see behind the scenes for a change right. that's, that's amazing i love it <laughs> this is very cool i want to address of course the live chatters that are here right now thank you so much for tuning in i see there's 26 of you just popping in the chat let me know where you're watching from and what you're looking forward to most and hearing from april today and if you got questions please load us up because i've got some selfish needs. I've got questions I want to ask myself, and I'm going to tell you there's one thing April's going to show you guys today. It's a little bit of a workshop. No, she's not going to try to upsell you on anything. This is literally for free. She's giving her time away for free here, folks. you got to stick around for this one. I promise you, you will not have known about this feature because I didn't know about it. So, in any event, now that we've addressed that, and if you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much. Make sure you drop your questions in the comments and I'll make sure April will get those questions later on and I'll answer those for you. All right, April. So I'm not going to ask the same old tired, you know, question of what got you in the publishing business, things like that. Mm -hmm. I would much rather let's go right into things. I want to go right into the heart of things. What are the best first steps to publishing a children's book for anyone that's new? Well, I mean, the first thing that you really need to do is planning and research. You want to make sure that you understand your niche and that you really do research on the climate out there. Who are the best sellers? Who are the ones that are competing in your niche? And what are people, what are your target perfect readers looking for? How do, where do they hang out? Because not only is it important as you're writing a book, but the minute that you start even thinking about it, you want to start thinking advertising. And you can't reach these perfect readers of yours if you don't understand them, you don't know them, and you're not interacting with them. So that is huge. Nice, nice. Now, when you say find where they're at, do I need to go to a physical address or is there any recommendations of where I'll find okay. my readers? So um, there are a number of Facebook groups out okay. there that have, you know, mom bloggers or, you know, mommies. There are um, individuals that are around a specific niche or target. There's also tons of information and hashtags on Instagram. So that is huge. If you're writing a nonfiction book or and your readers are on Twitter, then get on Twitter, interact, hear what they're talking about. What's the buzz? What can your book do for them? What, me, what needs is it going to meet? 
and really start getting that marketing engine and marketing mind working. It's not natural for most authors, but you have to start immediately. Good call. I love it. I love it. Uh, all right. So you're a bit of an expert inside the children's niche. You've really helped produce some amazing authors out there that are just absolutely crushing it. What are a few common mistakes authors are making when publishing a children's book? Okay. So the number one thing that I want people to not do is don't give up. Only 1% of the authors that start writing a children's book or a book for that matter, ever finish. When there, there are all kinds of you know published data about 80% of the people surveyed say that they have a book in them and, um, and that, that the world needs to hear it, but only 1% ever finishes. So the number one mistake is don't, don't stop. Um, and it kind of ties in with uh, trying to do it all yourself. Just because it's called self-publishing does not mean that you should do it yourself. There are some amazing professionals. Get a mentor who's been there, um, a, a coach. Um, really do your research, but you do not have to do it alone. And that is why I saw so many people tripping up, getting frustrated, and then just giving up because it was so confusing even though it should be simple. Um, and, and that's why I you know, started to pull together information about how can I take this often convoluted and confusing process where there's tons of information out there, but no really clear roadmap. How can I take that and help new and aspiring authors to not make huge mistakes, you know, fall into um, issues and, you know, things that are going to cost them a lot of money and waste an awful lot of time. And, and there are things, for example, I'll start with um, your writing and editing. Whatever you do, do not move forward without a professional edit. It is not enough. It is never enough to have your neighbor, friend, you know, so-and-so who is a professor, review and edit your book, your critique partners, your family and friends, please stay far away from them because all they're going to do is tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you that your book is amazing. Um, and I've had to have some really straight conversations when I do mentoring. I do a free consult. I talk with someone and I say, go ahead and, and pull up your book. Let me see what we've got here. Um, and I will always tell the truth. I will always do it in a kind way. But I've had to tell so many, the illustrations are just not good. Um, it's It doesn't do your story justice. Now, and there are others where I'll look at the verbiage and it's clear that it did not go through professional edit. Yeah. Don't spend all this time and money and effort. And, you know, this is your passion. Give it the time it needs and get the professional help and plug into those people that can help you make it a success. So true. I love this, just hearing what you're saying. So I'm going to ask you a really a loaded question. It's something I get all the time. Now I'm going to throw this grenade over towards you. What is the most profitable niche in publishing children's book? Okay. Um, I would say there is no most profitable niche. Not that I have found, because right. if I found it, I would be producing books one after another in that niche. <laughs> yeah. What I will say is the, the, there are a, a number of fantastic areas that you can focus. Your, the best niche for you to get into is the one that you are most passionate about where you've connected with and you really understand your audience's needs. I have one author who is writing about uh, food allergies and you know sh her child struggles with food allergies. She's passionate about it. She is, hangs out in Facebook groups and forums with other people that have the same issues. And she wanted to make a difference and show uh, in a children's book, number one, 
that for other people, for children who are struggling in that area, and number two, for children who are not, because teachers and parents should also let children who don't suffer understand why they can't bring certain types of snacks to school. Um, what do those children suffer with, right? So her need may seem pretty small to others, but there is a huge amount of support for that and hashtags and things that you can bring people along. So if you, that's why the research is so important. What, you're, what you are truly passionate and interested in, and you feel like you can stand up and shout it from the rooftops, hey, this is something that's gonna make a difference for people, then that's what's going to attract people and give you the success that you need. I wish it was as easy to say, go and write, write on this specific topic, but yeah. I haven't seen that. Right, right. Yeah, I'm so glad that you answered it in that way. And that was amazing. And it's not just you being diplomatic. It's the same exact answer I would give to anybody else. This is tremendous. Um, I'm going to ask you a very loaded question, even more than this last one. I want to get you to reveal your secret sauce. But before you do reveal that secret sauce, I've got a question just to kind of lay a little bit of groundwork. So if anybody wants to know about her secret sauce, let me know inside the comments right now, because I'm going to tell you this, this thing is a game changer. So before we get to that game changer, I want to ask you a question, a little bit off the beaten path. How important is the product page to selling your book? And what are some of the elements that are the most important on a product page? Yes. So, I mean, the number one most important thing is to have an amazing cover. Um, people are going to be searching on Amazon. It is an amazing marketplace. Um, it's there with warmed up shoppers just waiting to buy something, which is fantastic. You can't say that about Facebook or, or some of the other social media sites. People are there to shop, but you are competing with a ton of others in your niche that as people are searching, you know, can, number one, can they find you? Um, having good keywords and search terms are going to be really important, but even if you do have that, if your cover doesn't stand out among the others that are, you know, that are that they're viewing in the results, you're not even going to get people to look at your your listing page. So that's number one. The other is you have to have a really strong blurb at the top that is going to hook them and catch them. And you know, um, there are lots of people that write about. Um, having good content. It doesn't need to be really wordy, but it needs to capture and speak directly to your perfect reader, reader, your target audience. So for that book I mentioned earlier, she's speaking directly to people who are challenged with, with um, issues around food allergies, right? So you need to be able to have people saying, yes, yes, that's me. I want to read further. They say most of the people who are inside your directory, your, your listing, are not getting past the first couple of sentences without clicking off. If you don't get them by then, you don't get them. Now, there is some amazing things that you can do, and this ties into what we're going to go over, but um, additional images, additional information and formatting that can take your listing to a whole new level, especially when you think about the fact that when I serve, when I take a look at my statistics on my website and on my Amazon store, I'm seeing 60 to 80% of the people are coming from mobile phones. Now, from a mobile phone, when you look at an Amazon listing, you're not able to click on the look inside. It doesn't work. So, you can, if you know how, get some additional images added over there so that you have more than just your cover. But when you think about what, have you ever um, scrolled to the bottom of a page or looked on a listing and you see from the publisher content? Yeah. And these are usually very large you know, brands that are out there and they have these beautiful things at the bottom and everybody thinks, you know, wow, this is, this is amazing that they can do that. But not most regular authors have that capability. Um, 
but of course I'm a bit of a geek and I have my imaginary propeller head hat going. And so I, I applied for the advantage program. Mm -hmm. I received access and learned that I could actually go in and create that from the publisher content for myself. And I had so many people saying, how did you do it, April? How did you do it? And I said, oh, you just have to go to Advantage. And then what happened? Advantage got shut down. Closed it down. <laughs> Closed yeah. down. So nobody could. And there was a lot of my students. And I was thinking, OK, I wonder if I could do this for someone else. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of trial and error, I figured out how to do it, how to set up for other individuals. So I do that for my own students. And if you know someone who is in advantage, um, you can have them do that for you. Also, advantage is starting to invite people back in. So that is really awesome. If you have not applied for advantage, go to advantage.amazon.com and request an invite. They're starting to open it up a little. And I really do hope it's going to have some amazing new things in there. Yeah. Um, but at the very least, I've had a couple of my authors say, hey, I got an invite. Now, nice. just because you get an Advantage account doesn't mean you'll get access to the A-plus content. You'll actually, now, the the from the publisher is in, 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 in um, Advantage, it's called A-plus content. So that just because you have access to Advantage, doesn't automatically give you that you actually have to request it and be approved for it so there's a couple of different levels to to get there um but i'm really excited to show you what having this additional content can really do for your listing whether you have a children's book whether you have a nonfiction, it doesn't matter i've helped uh, a number of people yeah. that and really started to see things moving and the traffic uh, picking up on their books as a result of of revamping their listing. Excellent. Uh, so let me just recap this and then we're going to I want you to kind of take me through like a little bit of a demonstration uh, of what you're talking about, because obviously we're, we're all visual learners. So what you did was you got access to Amazon Advantage. Um, mm -hmm. And then from there, you had to request for access to the A plus content in order to do the from the publisher. Am I correct in saying that? That is correct. Nice. Did it cost you anything to open the Amazon Advantage account? No. Nice. See, a lot Nothing. of people are loving that, like where you're going with. So folks, do what she said right now. Go over advantage.amazon.com, request for access to it, and then hopefully you'll get invited. And remember, you're gonna need to ask for the A plus content. Now, with that being said, April says she's gonna go ahead and show us behind the dashboard and how some of this works and how it looks. This is the part that honestly just blew me away. Last week, you showed this to me. It was 30 minutes of just awesome content. Sadly, we won't have 30 minutes to do like everything we did mm -hmm. the other day, but hopefully you can kind of show us what it looks like behind the dashboard and how you're putting some of these things together. Sure, absolutely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen okay. and I'm gonna start taking a look. Let's see, there we go. Creations created for her book. And so, with A+, plus, it's really about modules. Like this is one module. What I did is I just took the dimensions and we created it in Canva, grabbed one of our favorite spreads, added some really cool text in a nice font. And then we are able to talk specifically about why should people buy this book um, mm -hmm. and see interior images that will help to... Uh, um, allow people to see all of the, the amazing things that are inside the book. Now you can get a little crazy by going too far and doing too much. Um, it allows you to do a total of five modules. So with each module, you have a little bit more information that you're able to pull together. Now I have, I'm gonna show you just one more because I think it's really cool. Um, the Jackson Payne, series. This is another author that um, I've helped pull some things together. His books were um, just needed some uh, an extra boost for this series. Um, so I worked with 
Adam Wallace, and now his A plus content. Uh, there's a couple of additional modules here that I thought were really cool. So this one is a great, you know, nice big size cover. You have a nicely formatted uh, description with some bullet points. Mm -hmm. And we did some cool things on the right side here where you could add another, another bit of Im information with another image, but you also put some information here and allow yourself to really bring out you know, Adam's a zany guy. He has crazy eyebrows, loves high fives. This really <laughs> shows the kind of amazing um, book and experience that this um, that this book series will provide. Yeah. Uh, this was another one of those just nice big images. And I dropped in a number of the interior images from his book. So it gives you that experience of, wow, this is what this book series will provide for, I think this is going to be an amazing um, middle grade series for folks like um, my grandson who are reluctant readers, but these kinds of things will make them create, make him crazy. He loves it. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I really love this, this one here, for those of you that have series, grab this module and you can add it on and it has actual hot links that take you from where you are now mm -hmm. to the additional book listings. Um, all these other four books are in the series. Yeah. So it's an amazing opportunity to be able to really celebrate all the amazing, like this is an experience here that you would not have gotten just by reading a little bit of the description here. One of the key points I want to kind of highlight on, unfortunately, the sound kind of cut off right as you were introducing the whole segment. Share with me again, um, when you have the from the publisher, how does it differ from desktop to mobile again? So the is my sound OK now? Because I can swap out. I've got a no, backup you're, just you're in good. case I need it. You're good. OK. So the difference is when you are accessing it from a mobile, you're going to see the cover. Mm -hmm. the title, the price, and then the very next thing that you're going to see, it jumps past all of this stuff and it goes right to the A plus content. Mm. Very rich, beautiful content that really identifies what this book is all about, the great opportunity and, and scrollable content that will really make people hit, click that buy button and want to move forward. Mm, yeah, see, I'm glad that you were able to go back to that, but my apologies. It was actually uh, tech issues on my end. Everybody's like, we can't hear her. And I didn't want anybody to miss how awesome this is, the fact that it's more mobile friendly. And of course, as you and I know, being mobile friendly is absolutely critical to success here online these days. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to go and give you that sneak peek peek behind the scenes oh boy here of, we go <laughs> of, you know what does the advantage oh account? you've got hardcover beta why are you flashing that at me <laughs> it doesn't work well for children's books yet so i haven't uh, been able to use it but yes amazon's <laughs> doing a little something with that i hope that they you know do it for shorter books and i'll uh, trade you sizes. standard i'll trade i'll trade you standard color for your hardcover <laughs> ah there you go <laughs> Um, okay, so I am in my, an Advantage account here, and under the merchandising menu, mm -hmm. there is this A plus content manager. Okay. When I click on that, um, you'll see, come on, I'm slowing down here. That's right. We're probably, we're probably eating up a lot of uh, resources right now, I'm sure, between you and I. Okay, no problem. So here I've got a list of um, A plus. These are, gosh, I got 114 people I've set this up for and counting. So let's just look at Daisy Moves to America. Okay, so um, you can see basically what this allows me to do is just um, add the information, right? I worked with the author. It is really helpful for me when they can take you know, a list with my size requirements for their illustrations and their uh, information and give it to me in exactly the size that I need. Um, but so she's got this one she did in Canva. Looks great. We just added these modules. 
added these here. So now watch if I if I actually go down, um, I'm going to do add a module. So you can see the types of um, met of modules that are available to you. You can do a logo. You can do um, this is the comparison chart that I used for the book series for Adam. Um, this you've seen in in the listing I showed for um, for Megan with the uh, Wally and the Sweet Mountain Candy Factory. You can see all of these different things that you can use. Um, and you can add them in. And wow, I'm actually seeing something new. This is um, some some new information, new modules here. Nice. Um, you can add just text. You can do this is the one that I used with uh, with Adam with the for a cover, some description and some additional information over here. Um, lots of different things that you can use that you just pick out. And then, so let's just see, let's pretend we've got these three here. Now the module is gonna show you, you've got a 300 by 300 image. So I provide a list of, hey, here's all the modules, here's the size of the images. You pick and let me know what you want. Yeah. And you're able to add up to five modules. So nice. this one big one is one module. Um, we've got, this is another module. So that's two, that's three. So you can see, you could just almost look, could look like a mini website. Mm -hmm. I do caution. You don't want to have too much going on because then that gets to be a little, a little much you want. I, I would say stick to three modules if you can. Um, and then, so here, you're just going to locate the image, put the text here. And then once you have everything all set and ready to go, um, let's, I'm going to remove this so you can see the process of what, you know, so then you hit the next, it's just kind of a little wizard interface. Um, you add the ASIN and you search for the ASIN, or you can do a bulk upload. I have one client who gives me a list of hundreds of her uh, ninja books and I upload the, that list. And so all of her books have the, the one, um, you know, the information at the end oh, cool. um, for her A plus content. So yes. once all of these are added, then I just hit next and it does a little bit of a review and says, okay, this is what it's going to look like. And you have wow. a chance to adjust it and then just submit. And do you care to guess how long it takes for the approve for it to show up on the web on the site, Dale? I'm gonna guess maybe like 24 hours. About five minutes. Get out. So as soon as you apply it, boom, it's up. Yep. About five minutes wow. later, it's up and running. It doesn't have to go through a bunch of approval stuff. Now it does have some automation or some checks that Amazon will do if you have the words bestsellers Ooh. or you know things like awards. Um, it will it will um, flag those and tell yeah. you that you have to do something different with that. Gotcha. Um, also, one thing I really, really I meant to show you the other day and I totally forgot about yeah. is when you come in and you add an image you get all these extra keywords you can put oh, in. Oh, get out. You get a hundred keywords for every image that you add. Oh my gosh, you just got me super excited on this one here. <laughs> yes, now I don't know, it says image keywords. Yeah. I So I stuff this with all really relevant keywords for this book. Yeah. Um, I assume that these are all factored in to you know, what, what the algorithm uses for, for searching, yeah. but I haven't been able to find a professional at Amazon that can answer that question on how the keywords are used. I'm still yeah. looking maybe, maybe between the two of us, we can get some answers there. I would think at the very least it, it, it gets indexed on Google, uh, cause Google's able to pull up specific search images. Yes. So that at the very minimum, we yes. know that that will work, but Wow, I, that right there is super, super exciting. Um, so uh, let's let's jump out of the screen share a moment. Uh, you've shown a lot, but we do need to go over to the live question and answer. Uh, boy, did I tell you guys, 
was I not <laughs> right? Uh, my apologies. Like audio was messing up on my end. She goes in, she's talking. Everybody's like, no audio, no audio, no audio. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so thank you for, for enduring that there, folks. My apologies. That was not April's fault. That was on my end of things. If you got questions, concerns, comments, make sure that you load them up right about now. Listen, April, how can viewers get in touch with you? So um, if you look below me, there should be the uh, website yep. at www.thelittlelabradoodle.com. Uh, you can also reach at selfpubmadesimple.com as well, um, where I'm focusing more around my self-publishing courses, mentoring, things like that. I have a YouTube channel, Self-Publishing Made Simple, where I have hundreds of videos and hours and hours of mentoring and coaching and all kinds of great um, meetings and interviews with folks like Dale. So you have to check it out there and feel free to subscribe. And um, I also would love to invite you to check out some of my live meetings. Um, if you go to my website and slash upcoming dash meetings, you'll see that I have live drop in hours for any anybody who wants to jump in. It's just an ask me anything couple of hours worth of me just sitting there and answering questions, helping authors. And that's what I started doing just to give back to the author community. Um, so feel free to jump in. There are some great events and, and new things coming. Uh, lots of great um, opportunities for new people to get to know me and what I do as well. I think you guys and gals will really enjoy what April does. Uh, don't expect to be bombarded or being like pressed with uh, sales or anything else like that. April is very chill. She's relaxed. She brings on guest experts on the regular. I know I was on. She had Dave Chesson on before. She had number of other authors. So make sure you go check her out. All right. Mm -hmm. So there was one thing that Wayne brought up. And of course, I want to address this. It is paused in a couple of regions. I know US and I believe UK is currently paused for Amazon mm -hmm. Advantage. Just apply for it and hopefully you'll hear back from it. I do know yes. that if you already had the Amazon Advantage account, so for instance, I already have UK, Canada, and Germany, um, I at least don't have to worry about going and applying for that. Now, uh, US, I'll need to go in and apply for that. I thought I had it, but apparently I didn't. So apply yeah. for it, folks. We can't promise you anything. All right, so I've got a question here. This comes from Haunter. It says, hi guys, are these functions available for everyone? For everyone who is in advantage. <laughs> right. That's the trick. But yes. So. That's the thing is if you are in advantage, then yes, you can get access. You do have to request access. Mm -hmm. And I have found that a couple of people were denied. I don't know mm -hmm. why. I'm not sure why they could get advantage, but not get access to the A plus content manager. So when you initially look at your advantage dashboard, it is not there. You have to actually reach out to Amazon and say, I would like to be able to add uh, the A plus content. Can you please add that? I didn't have any trouble with that. So I'm not 100% sure what the issue is with that or why some people would get it and some people would not. But that's one of the reasons why um, myself, and I'm sure there are others out there also doing this, but helping people to be able to get access to A-plus content on their listing. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I'll tell you, you blew me away showing this information. And if you folks enjoy that information, please do smash that like and go over right now. Self-publishing made simple subscribe you will thank me later on i've been lurking on her channel for like the longest time and i think it freaked her out when i was like hey you want to chat <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because i was binge watching your channel for years and i was like he knows me yeah <laughs> i was like totally starstruck <laughs> that's so cool so it's awesome all right, uh, if anybody else has any kind of questions, please load them up right now. I just want to give a big shout out to everybody that has been tuning in. Wayne Blinko, great to see you, buddy. Easy Graphics, good to see you. Patricia Dana, great to see you. April's a great mentor. Indeed, she is. Here's a question. I got two of them here. Well, Wasella says, hey, April, the listing can only be made in the country you're uploading on? Question mark. I have a listing in Germany that I'd love to add a plus to. Yes. So Dale, it sounded like you had access to Advantage in, in different countries. Correct. I, I did not do that. So you'd have okay. to, my guess is that you would have to have 
advantage in the country that you would like to set up the listing with. Excellent. Maybe we got to test that out between you and me. We've mm -hmm. that. that sounds yeah, like a I think that would idea. be helpful. Yeah. Um, so, all right. Next question comes from Lettered Love. Do you need to apply for the A plus in the different regions as well? I think we kind of said I that. I would say it yes. Probably yeah. is. Uh, it's, yep. It seems. And, and who knows if it's available in all regions? Because I know U.S. is typically getting a lot more features that other regions aren't getting in various other programs for Amazon. So yeah, just I know that the there. one when I applied for my U.S. Um, and I update A plus content, it shows on U.S. and Canada. So it doesn't oh, show on UK, but that makes me think I would have to go and get advantage in that area for it to show up there as well. Nice. Very good. All right. Well, we got to start to wrap things up, folks. April, you are a gem. You are a national <laughs> treasure. Thank you so much for just dropping some serious 411 that just honestly, listen, what are you doing to me? The eyebrows is all the hair I got on my body. You're just going to remove that? You singed it complete off. Uh, I'm just telling you. Again, folks, go over to Self Publishing Made Simple. April Cox, thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for having me. Bye, everyone. Hey, folks, the party's not over from here because actually I'm going to show you. There's a full video series that I have talking about. We ready for this? publishing children's books. Go over here, take a look at it inside this video here. And uh, hey, if you've already seen that video series, YouTube says you should go check out this one. Either way, I'll see you in either one. Now comes the awkward point.